Production support for Ohio Educational Broadcasting award-winning News 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Finley Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station. Hi, I'm Gary Thornell from River Hill Elementary. Here's what you're going to see today on U6. Oil drilling here in northwestern Ohio. A cat that likes to play. And a school built for the future. Hi, and welcome to News 6. I'm Stuart Wyatt from Grover Hill Elementary School in Grover Hill, Ohio. Here with our first story is Jamie Miller. Lots of people have cats for pets, but a cat named Samson in Grover Hill is pretty unusual. He weighs over 100 pounds, and he's not even full grown yet. Samson is a real lion and has been raised in captivity. He is a long way from the jungle, but he still looks like the king of the beasts. Look, isn't my cat cute? Yeah, but mine's bigger. Uh-uh, mine's bigger. Yes, Dave Porter has a cat, a very large cat. He's an African lion named Samson, and he's very playful. Why did you buy a lion? Oh, I thought it'd be fun and, uh, kind of an adventure and kind of a challenge to try to raise one. What's his personality like? He's usually pretty friendly when I'll let him out of the cage when nobody's around. He'll just stay around the yard here and just want to play and just kind of wrestle around on the ground. But uh, when there's a lot of people around, we usually don't because he gets kind of nervous around strangers. Does he like kids? Part of the time he does and part of the time he doesn't. He's kind of temperamental about kids. One or two kids he gets along with good, but a crowd he kind of acts up with a bunch of kids. Does he like other animals? Yes, he likes to play with other animals like dogs and cats, but other animals are usually want to run from him. They're more or less afraid of him. Mr. Porter bought Samson when he was eight weeks old. He got him from an exotic animal auction in Delphus, Ohio. Samson has been kept in captivity since birth, but is still pretty ferocious when he wants to be. How large will he get? They'll average anywhere when they're full grown, which takes about four, four years to become full grown, anywhere between 400 and 450 pounds. What do you feed Samson? He'll just eat raw meat, and that's just strictly it. Samson is not your ordinary pet. It takes a lot of care and even courage to raise him. He's grown quite a bit since he was a cub, but now he really looks like the king of the beasts. Today's show is being produced by the 6th grade at Wayne Trace Local Grover Hill Elementary School in Grover Hill, Ohio. Grover Hill is located about 20 miles southwest of Defiance. The town has incor was incorporated on August 3, 1891, and the present population is 536. When you think of oil, places like Texas or Alaska or the Middle East usually come to mind. Those aren't the only places that oil comes from, though. There are some very successful oil fields right here in Ohio, and one of the companies that works to find that oil is Pioneer Drilling. Gary Cooper is the founder and co-owner, along with his brother Bob, of Pioneer Drilling Company. How many years have you been working for Pioneer Drilling? Uh, Pioneer Drilling Company started in 1974 uh, when we moved here to Ohio and we've been here uh, ever since, although we've drilled in, in different areas uh, all over Ohio, Indiana, and uh, probably roughly uh, 200 wells. Do you work all year long? Uh, we attempt to work all year long, uh, depending upon the weather conditions again. We uh, usually experience some difficulties running our facility, our cleaning facility, uh, in January and February. Our drilling, uh, we're able to uh, uh, tarp up around our rigs so that we work uh, through those months if possible. 
Pioneer has been active for over the past 15 years in searching for oil and gas deposits in northwestern Ohio and northern Indiana. During this period, they have drilled nearly 200 wells, probing nearly 300,000 feet, roughly 600 miles. How do you know where to drill for oil and natural gas? That's probably one of the most difficult questions. We, we used to have a geologist who worked for us full time, and uh, to probably understand the answer to that question, for Christmas one time, we gave him an eight ball and asked him to, to pick our sites because it becomes that difficult in trying to uh, select sites that, that we know are going to be productive. People use various tools. They use mapping techniques. They use geophysical te techniques and geological techniques. and, and uh, all those help to increase your odds, but they do not ensure that you're going to find oil and gas when you drill. All they do is give you a calculated guess. They have had their greatest success at the Payne, Ohio gas field. They have so far drilled 65 wells, of which 54 have resulted in commercial oil and gas production. How long does it take to drill a well? Uh, depending upon the method, again, uh, the older methods in this particular area would range somewhere around six weeks. Uh, with a rotary uh, rig, you can accomplish the same thing in about a week. How do you drill a well? Well, there's, t there's two methods of drilling. There's a, uh, uh, an older method called a cable tool rig, and then there's a uh, newer method called a rotary rig. Producing oil and natural gas can be a risky business. All the equipment, the pumps, rigs, tanks, and even the lines cost a lot of money. However, it pays off when you have a successful operation like Pioneer Drilling. The Grover Hill Elementary building is a story in itself. The building has many features to make it a comfortable place to learn. We're proud of our school and we'd like to share it with you. Grover Hill is the school of the future. It's bright and colorful and is a perfect place to study. We wanted to find out why our classmates like to go to school here. We like all the great computers we have here. We like our big open library. We like our nice carpeted gym. We like our wide open Our playroom, especially at recess. I like the office the best. Sometimes. That's all for this edition of News 6. Join us next week when we travel to Fort Jennings. Production support for News 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Finley Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station.